G'day, I'm Evan, and welcome to Gaming Gaming Game. Joining me on the show this week, it's Naomi Higgins. I didn't think of anything to say for this part. I'm really bad at improv. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. I feel like I've I've said so many great things though, and you know, it's like people will be disappointed that I don't say something, you know, some biting satire. Uh huh. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Many Weeks is here. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. This is the best night of my life. I'm, oh my god, I am on caffeine. I'm so excited. Thank you. And Annie Louie. Hello, everyone. Yay! <laughs> Act natural. Um, I'm, I'm quite ill as a result of playing the game that we're about to talk about today right before this. So uh, I ate a lot of pizza after that thinking that <laughs> might help, but it might just come back up. So that, that's thrilling for you, oh. isn't it? Yeah. We haven't had anyone throw up on the show yet. I, I, well, video Why did you look at me? was shown. That was exciting. Don't you remember that? What? Oh, no, we I did. Up. Yes, actually we did. But it yeah. wasn't live in studio. No, no, no. That was mm. a secret. We could maybe do a second night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, because you racked up so many views off this. Yeah. Is it still tracking a yeah. lot of yeah, oh yeah, it's going off. People love it. I'm excited about it. All right, it. we figured out the secret is I have to bob it now. Yeah, Annie, <laughs> it's great yeah. for your career. It's really good for your career. Don't worry. <laughs> Just vomit here and now and you'll be taking off. You'll be on Letterman. Is that show still around? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Well, kind of. Is he alive? Anyway, you can, you can either way, you vomit, you won't regret it. <laughs> Great business advice, right here. <laughs> yeah. um, hey, before we uh, kick off the show, it's Naomi's birthday on the weekend. Hey. Hey. Happy uh, birthday, Naomi. Happy, happy Thank birthday, you. Naomi. We have a Bex Bex run Bex out of the studio. Ran out of the studio. Um, um, he's gone. She hates birthdays. Goats. She hates my yeah. birthday, specifically. Mm. She doesn't like to remember that I was born. Yeah, mm. it's scary to yeah. think about that. Um. Yeah, you know, it's <gasps> sort of... Oh my god! Oh, of course it's happy, happy birthday, birthday to you! The cake is not in shot yet. <laughs> What's with the gremlin wall? Beck, you gotta go uh, fast. Happy birthday, birthday dear Naomi! Brunetti, oh. Ooh, whoa. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you! This is bigger than the budget of all of ABC. I know! <laughs> Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hooray! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Yay! Thank you so much. It's a cheesecake! It's a cheesecake! Oh, that's my favorite! Oh! Gonzo's licking his lips. Fridge for later! Fridge for later! Yay! That's so nice! I'm ready! That's a big box. That's a bit expensive. Hello! Uh, this week on the show, we're talking about Silent Hill, the short message. But first, what do you think of this? It was Valentine's Day this past week, and Devolver Digital took the opportunity to promote tarot card game The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood with a competition to win a giant dildo. Uh, wait, wait. What? What? wait, wait, say that sentence again. Uh, what did you say? Devolver, so Devolver Digital took yeah. the opportunity to promote tarot card game The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood with a competition to win a giant dildo. What? Okay. Uh, developer Destruct Team, uh, sorry, Deconstruct Team, Deconstruct Team, it's an odd word, it's not a real word, uh, partnered with sex toy company Uberim. Uh, what are they doing? To make the monster <laughs> cock. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, three of which will be given away to lucky Twitter <laughs> followers. I hope it's this doesn't get limited because of the guest's behaviour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. so don't say anything rude, Maddie. Sorry, we have a monster civilised conversation I've kind of this thrown all of this. <laughs> Come on, this is serious. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, this, is, this is a lot to take in. It would be. It would be. Evan. Evan. Uh, how much? How much exactly? I don't know how much. They in. haven't actually uh, released measurements. But you do, they, they haven't? No, but it's they do have a size. they do have a can for uh, for. Uh, oh, that's a can. that's a can. Oh, for size. Oh. Sorry, this oh. scale. Yeah, it's like three. Yeah, so I don't know if we've got. Baby, don't show it to the camera. Like this, oh, we've got so three cans. Say, I'd yes. say that's two and a half. It does not look blurred on camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. For, for, for okay. purposes, we won't throw. Okay, okay right. don't look at it. Okay, Over. everyone in your own homes, Google monster cock. 
<laughs> Mom's the cock dog I know, know what's going on. Now that we're talking about the cans, it sounds like a new two. brand of it's soft two of drink these. as well. It's, three, it's like three of those. Three? It's I like, couldn't it's like do it. Two and two thirds. I I know my limits and I'm not going to try. It looks like that big. Mm. That's who can do that. Mm. Who can do Good on you if you can. <laughs> That is amazing. You need a medal. Like, that is, <laughs> that's valent. To be fair, that valiant. includes the base. Oh, that doesn't. Yeah, that's anything. true. That's, that's true. Just... Okay. Why? So, um, um, why? Know, it'll be Did like. They, why? Did they do this? Um, is it connected to the game or what? Yes. Well, it's a tarot deck, right? Yeah, well, you also. It's you, a game or it's a tarot deck? It's a, ga it's a tarot. tarot card it's game. A, it's a game in which you. Play with tarot. It's like an adventure, in, indie adventure narrative game in which there's but a tarot reader. But you like pull cards to do I, stuff. I think so. Okay. I don't know much about the game itself. Um, Just the monster cock. <laughs> <laughs> which tarot yes. cards? The monster cock. Um, so That's this is this is lot. the there's a, a character called Abrama, um, and this oh, is the um, this is supposed to be. Well, congratulations to, to him. The, <laughs> the godlike yeah, of wow. Abrama. Damn, um, dude. So uh, at some point, at some point, it's not a good thing. Yes, I would agree. With you know that. what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. I um I look. I was talking to when I was in uni. There was this guy, and everyone said it was the the thickness of a can. It might have been a Red Bull can that it was the thickness. Oh. Of. What was? Oh, okay. Yep, yep. <laughs> what was? <laughs> but anyway, apparently his little brother's was even bigger, and everyone was talking about how. Big, this guy's, he had a monster cock. And I was like, I sat down, I, I met his girlfriend and we were just sitting at a table and we were like drunk and I was like, are you, is that okay? Like, are you okay? And she was like, no. <laughs> she was like, it's really hard, like it's a struggle. Like, I, Ew. I felt really bad for them, both of them. You know, it's, it wasn't his fault, obviously. Oh, wow. mm. um, so be careful what you wish for. Uh, yep. Everything in moderation. <laughs> That's my perspective. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Is it just one that was up for grabs, or do they have multiple? Apparently, there's three. Three. There's three that you can win. Uh, um, that's a lot. So you have to go to the website. You fill in the thing. You actually, it's actually not open in Australia. I don't think. I think it's God US, UK. It. Um, we don't get anything in this country. God, <laughs> can't, can't a girl have a monster cock in this country? <laughs> Albanese, you know. Anyway, sorry about that. I'm not interested. If you Albanese just got uh, engaged today. He did. Yeah, he got engaged. Yes. Oh, Unless he's got a monster cock. <laughs> I thought he. I figured he was already married. What's he doing? Yeah, I was surprised. He yeah, seems no, like yeah. a married man. Yeah, I was. I was doing that the, the images today, and they've been dating since. 2020, but she's already getting around in that first lady like garb. Right. Good for her. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's okay. Enough. That's what was he doing before that? He probably Single. Divorced. Yeah. Tinder. He might Tinder. be divorced. Yeah. yeah. Anyone, shout out in the chat if Albanese is divorced. Yeah, is he? <laughs> um, I can't wait to see this just turn into divorced. Um, someone, he is divorced. He is divorced. He is Single. divorced. What a loser! Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna up. have a we're gonna have like a a, 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 a state wedding or something or what's what happens? Public holiday, come on! Oh, I want it. A state wedding? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. When do you think they'll get married? Did they have? He, has he told you? <laughs> he hasn't. I've no. I haven't get spoken to him about phone. it. Um, Surely you'd save that for some kind of political gain, though. When you the polls yeah, are low, yeah, a little total. wedding to pick people. Election up. year next year. Yeah. yeah. About is that. it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So Albanese, be... I'm a wedding celebrant. Yep. Hit me up. <gasps> <gasps> Annie, you so should. Wow. <laughs> yeah. How long Imagine. did people normally people normally would would get engaged like a year before? Getting yeah, and then married, you right? submit the paperwork eighteen months at the earliest. What? And then the latest. Oh, okay. Eighteen months. Latest thirty days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But okay. I was chatting to a couple yesterday. I was having a client meeting and she knew a friend or somebody in the circles who planned their wedding dress seven years beforehand. How would you oh, know? In the fishing for what? it. Yeah, how would how? you know? Oh, you could be dead by yeah, then. Yeah, the world What's could the come back. What's the point in doing saying. a fitting? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're going to change. But this sounds like a type A person. I, yeah. It sounds like she knows. It sounds like she's going to make sure that she's the same size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm scared yeah. for her. <laughs> seven years. I've not thought ahead for anything for that long. I yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, well, you can probably tell. different people. Yeah, <laughs> probably get mine the night before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what yeah. am I going to wear to my wedding? Who knows? Yeah, you were asking for your third can of Pepsi before this, so yeah, you're probably you not know, planning. Can. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> procrastination, it's fine. Who cares? Three cans of Pepsi? Yeah. That's a Munster Cogsworth. <laughs> <laughs> Too much Pepsi. Oh, I'm full oh, now. Oh my god. Yeah, you know. So I'm so gay now. Thank you so much. That's just like <laughs> bled into me. Yeah. I just need to be cleansed. Yeah, I just leveled up. Um, but good on you if you want that. That's nice for you. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, I think it. It seems like it's usually like a year or longer. What? Yeah. Until oh, to plan the wedding. Right. Yeah. Because it takes yeah. a while to plan, but I feel like it wouldn't be hard for him to plan because he would just have people to do it for him. So yeah. I don't. Yeah. I think it would be more about political Public timing. Public servant will do it. Mm. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Is he going to get enough goodwill to be more popular than Peter Dutton? <laughs> Surely. Is Peter Dutton married? Yes. Oh, and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so this, um, I mean, this is a great PR move. Is it? I haven't, heard of, this game. I haven't heard of this game before. Well, that's true, true. That's and true. And now I'm talking about it. There's press about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, People yeah. are talking about this, this massive dildo. Marketing. It works. Marketing, yeah. Um, You're the first person to discover this. <laughs> that marketing works. Yeah, yeah. I think mm. this is really going to create a boom in the advertising industry. It's <laughs> yeah. going to really become a full thing now that you've said it works. Yes. Mm. Do you think Pepsi is going to come out with Most giant dildos them? now? Like, I hope so. What would a gamey, gamey game dildo look like? <laughs> We'd have to have a cast me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Like a, yeah, a flashlight that is so realistically moulded. <laughs> what? What is happening? I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you said monster cock, and I just and that and you did something. Oh my! So like God. just do whatever, you know. We're gonna say whatever. Then. Um, maybe um. <laughs> Don't refer to the chat. This is on you. Chat, help me. Oh my I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a sensible answer. <laughs> Find the feet there now. The, the the desk is too pointy to try and make work, right? What? Yeah, you could make a version of the desk that would work. Did I work. fuck? Probably, maybe. <laughs> I'm not fuck the desk. I'll fuck the cup. I will fuck the cup. It's a nice <laughs> texture. <laughs> Just ribbing the cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. really for, I forget, what's the word for people who are attracted to objects? Let's know. appeal to that community. Okay. Mm. Like the woman who married the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. She yes. would yeah. have some tips for us. Yeah, Actually, yeah. I think they got divorced. They really? did. Yeah. Really? I just imagine they would have crazy breakup sex. She would be doing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she does. She lays on there. Yeah, well, the tower wouldn't. <laughs> 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 the tower, yeah, can't come, I guess. I don't know, maybe it can. I don't know. How does that work? Imagine that, forever erect. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> what is in the air tonight? Maybe we should move on from this. It's because you put a dildo on the oh, page. I'm sorry. And you there was, it in. There's, there's very really little news know. in the news this th at the moment. That can't be true. No, it's Whoa, true. Whoa, Newsweek. There weren't many news stories that were interesting. So I picked this one. This is the one that caught your eye. This mm. is. This is the only, it seemed like the only option. Honestly, I would have gone with anything but this. Uh, You're such a liar. <laughs> you loved it. You were like, ooh. This is too, we've never done anything this full on before. Um, so I apologise to everybody. Me either. That, um, <laughs> yeah, I've never seen anything That's like this. That's crazy. <laughs> I have. Yeah. <laughs> just last week. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, all right, brag, okay. I mean, you can just buy things this big. Like, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, it's this particular but, but it's you can get this, this anyway. God like girth that it says here. Uh -huh. I want that. Oh, they have. God like They've got some pretty girth. crazy ones. Yeah. So, what about yeah, those dragon ones? Yeah. Sex shop. They have ones that are like a metre long just for the lols. Like, I don't yeah. think anyone's right. actually using it. Yeah. But it's a novelty, yeah. right? I couldn't really get that. That's like physically impossible. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I think it's so it's like on the floor and then, you know, from where, <laughs> whatever your height. Ergonomic. You know, That's you can start wherever. Hip height. Yeah. <laughs> you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's actually for people with arthritis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got standing desks and you have the standing cough. Yeah. I mean, every cock can be a standing cock. Hey! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to move on. Um, Why do you find out what this game's about? It's going to be a... <laughs> this is gonna be, yeah, this is... <laughs> quite a, quite a, a change in tone. 
Um, oh man, okay. Uh, Silent Hill, the short message, is a free short horror game for PS5 that dropped during PlayStation State of Play event last month. You play as Anita, exploring an abandoned apartment building looking for your friend Maya. But obviously there's more to it than that. Um, <laughs> now this... Yeah. <laughs> obviously. There's themes. There's, there's heaps of stuff. Yeah, yeah. You're not just walking around. I mean, mostly you are. But uh, this, this game features quite heavy themes around suicide and self-harm and child abuse. We won't be going that much into that uh, during this show. But if you're sensitive to those topics, then you might want to give this one a miss. Um, but let's take a look at the trailer. Maybe I can be like her. Blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. What are you hiding inside? Maya? What the fuck? I'm sorry. That was a look at the trailer for Silent Hill: The Short Message. This is uh, this is this is kind of fun. This is my first time playing a Silent Hill game, which is kind of interesting. Um, Silent it? Hill's been around for so long. That's really true. Yes. <laughs> yep. Um, it is a game. Well, it's lots of games. It's a game series. Yeah, a franchise. A franchise um, of games. It uh, so it started. They all take place on a hill. It's oh. Where no one says anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's that literal. And John Krasinski's there. Is he? Yeah. And he has a baby. Is that true? No, there's you know that movie where they didn't speak. And there was that other movie where nobody looked at anything. You know, that was happening for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> no idea what's going on. I know, Bird Box, that movie's called. A Quiet oh. Place. And A Quiet Place, oh, yeah. Oh, I Box, saw A Quiet right? Place. Yeah? I think. <laughs> cool. Did I? Brad. Is that Jordan Peele? No. No. It's John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. And a baby. Which one's John Krasinski? And they Krasinski? have kids. They'll be quiet. Emily Blunt. Jordan Peele. Oh, I've not seen that. No. What am I thinking of? Get Out? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No, I'm thinking of no. no. Yeah. 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 Is that quiet? With, with um, Stephen Yen. There's all the people that don't talk. Nope. Mm? That's nope. not nope. Uh, Which one's nope? Us. Us. What? What is happening? Words. What? We're thinking about us. us? No. Nope. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. Word so Anyway. Okay. Um, With Lupita? What? I don't know what that is. <laughs> you don't know what that is? Lupita? Yeah. Is that a person? Yeah. Who's that? I don't know. She's an Oscar award winner. Well, good for her. Lupita Nongo. Um, <laughs> uh, good for her. What? You're getting cancelled. An yeah, Oscar award. We had a Grammy nominee on this show. Who? Who? Gatesy from Tripod. Okay. Oh, Tripod yeah. were nominated for a Grammy. That was wow. Really? That's exciting. Well, exciting. I'm going to get an EGOT and I'm going to rub it in Gatesy's face. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. All right. Okay. What is okay. my deal? So, I don't know what your deal is. <laughs> it's your birthday and you're just going off. <laughs> talking about movies that no one's heard of. Um... Silent Hill. Twelve it's years a slave? Is that <laughs> what? <laughs> What's happening? What are you talking about? Lupita. I don't know who Lupita is. Um, it, it, Silent Hill. It, it's Silent, Silent Hill. A bunch of an, artless an, an, swine on this panel. An, an anthology <laughs> horror series. I haven't played any of them. It started in 1999 on, on PlayStation One, so it goes back oh. that far. Um, what, what did you just say? I zoned out. Silent Hill. The first Silent Hill game was 
uh, for, uh, in 1999 on PlayStation 1. So that's how far back Whoa. the franchise goes, right? You weren't even born yet. No, I was. <laughs> no, you weren't. No. I was born 10 years prior. I don't think that's true. But as a 10 year old, I wasn't going to be playing horror games like this sort of thing, you know? <laughs> I was too young for that. Oh. Um, and I didn't have a PlayStation because I was poor. That's not true. Not that true. Uh, the um, <laughs> footage is intense. Uh, yes, this is kind of intense. So this is a game, uh, but it's, so it's, it's is it, this a comedy it's, or a? <laughs> this is not a comedy. No, this is a horror game. Oh, um, it's a like a that makes it's sense. a psychological horror. It does make sense, you know, when you look at it. Um, What's the um, what other types of horror are there? A uh, uh, body horror. Um, there's like oh, you know, there'd be like really like. A gory horror stuff, I suppose. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be body horror? I don't know what body horror is. Horror I think is, it's like gore. Yeah, I think it's like, oh, my arm's off. Is That's, that body horror? Yeah. Right. Or you look weird. Saw is, is Saw's body, body horror? horror? I'd okay. say so. Yeah, okay. Um, um, what are but it's also food, psychological. Food, food horror? What's food horror? <laughs> I don't know. Where a carrot has eyes and walks around. That's really scary. Um, I'm not a fan of horror and I, I feel no, like that none of these are horror. Freaking, like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. That's a scary, that's not horror, but think about that if they were trying to kill I haven't you. That's seen true, that. if that was real. If that was real, you would be scared. Yeah, especially because all the characters look like that and you'd be like, what the fuck are you? Makes who, what are you? It's disgusting. When they do that. <laughs> when your food speaks, that's not right. And that's horror. And you can't tell me otherwise. And there's ghosts. <laughs> Alright, well there's no ghosts in this, there's no supernatural talking food. Supernatural horror, that's true. Okay, oh yeah, yep. supernatural horror. Okay. Sorry, that's, yep. This doesn't really, this isn't really supernatural horror. I don't consider this psychological horror. You don't think so? It was psychologically... It seems But it's like so... Like, I don't know. When it I think of psychological not. horror, I think of like... The movie Funny Games. I haven't seen that. Why do you keep doing this to me? <laughs> Have you seen that, eh? We share no Jesus common cultural God. touch. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh, mine's got a letterbox account. My God, I don't. I don't. I'm normal. I don't okay? either. I actually do, but I don't really do anything do. on there. Oh. This is, this is, uh, I made one I think playlist. This is categorized playlist. as psychological horror. So maybe like just a, take the word. Uh, what are you, uh, like I'm a collection? Watch. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, but gameplay wise in this game, you're kind of just walking around, you've got your phone you're with, your, with your flashlight on. That sounds like a normal day. <laughs> it was yes, quite yes. relatable actually. What's, yeah. I do that. What's different about this? Yeah, not, not, not a whole lot at least to begin with, right? <laughs> you're texting your friend, Maya. Um, well, I don't text, I don't have a friend, Maya. Neither so. do okay. I. Okay, well. I, you've lost me, it's not relatable, not relatable to me anymore. So. All right, but you can sort of pretend I'm no that longer you've interested. got a friend, Maya. Um, it just uh, doesn't represent wake up my in an experience. Abandoned you wake up. Apartment. That's not you, normal. Yeah, no, not. Yeah, that's right. You're in an abandoned apartment building. It's called which the is villa. Called the villa, yes. Um, so. Is it an apartment or a villa? It's. I think it's an. I think they may be calling the it a villa to make it sound fancier than it is. Um, I hated when I put that in my mouth. What? The paper. Oh. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. that it was... looked great though. That's a good. Yeah. It's gonna be a good bit later. Oh. Yeah. Well, you might be committing it. to You might bit. be okay. Um, I'll be all right. Yeah. So it is quite. Um, I would say it's saying a lot of things. You know, and it's saying phones are bad, and they are. Yes, I think it's. I think this has a lot of commentary around social <laughs> wow. media. Yeah. Um, wow. This, these are these are uh, school kids who are obviously being they've been bullied. They've they've obviously had quite a lot of like childhood trauma. Um, the bullying, I will say, <laughs> the scene that I, the bit that I played, we yeah, were all there. Yeah. I was there. That was funny. Yeah, it was, <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> what what bit was this? They were just like, loser, freak, <laughs> shut your whore mouth. <laughs> It was like, your art's weird. It was like, wow, this is what this, but I was like, in school people just say, are you a lesbian? Yeah. Like that's, <laughs> yeah. that's how girls are bullied in school. Right. Like they yeah. would be like, oh, it's like your outfit's almost right. It's like the top <laughs> and the pants are good, but like, what are the shoes? Oh, that's <laughs> so <laughs> real. Yeah, yeah, we need to get um, you on the writing team for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has been criticized for the writing. The writing um, is interesting, but but also it's it's translated from Japanese, mm. I think. So it's so so you can you got to give it a little bit of leeway there, yeah. where things might not be exactly, mm. um, you know, the way that you you might say something. Uh, yeah, but I feel like even Japanese kids aren't walking around going, 
loser, freak, <laughs> weirdo, creep. Go away! Yeah. There's a lot of go away. Yeah. Shut up! No, shut up! You flunk freak. made it in. Yeah, well, that that yeah. felt nice. That was that realistic. Was, that was realistic. That was that was, that was, that was okay. a breath of fresh air. I was like, that was yeah, grounding. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Been there. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, like a lot of horror games like this, there's a lot of uh, storytelling through uh, journals that people have left around. Oh. I think in games like this, there's a lot more journaling than there normally is in kind of real life. I don't do a lot of journaling myself, um, and if I did, I don't kind of leave open pages around uh, the place. But yeah, that one, that wasn't very realistic. <laughs> yeah. But that journaling that cherry blossom that. monster, I've run into that guy, and I yeah. was like, yeah. Yeah. that's so real. Up. Yeah. The cherry blossom monster's terrifying to me. Uh, I think that's the idea. I think it's supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like I a scary. It's like supposed to be scary. I, think. I was so yeah. scared. <laughs> but and I, I was playing it alone because everyone left me in the room alone, and I was playing it, and I was so scared. You were screaming. I could hear the scream. Yeah, I, was I was just screaming. on the couch outside, really? and yeah, it freaked me out. <laughs> and was, then, then was... my brain, because whenever I'm scared, I go to find comedy. So every you time, were every time I saw the cherry blossom, that TikTok audio of a hot new bombshell has entered the villa <laughs> <laughs> came into my head. It was. I was like, oh, hot new bombshell in the villa. And then I ran away. And you were in the villa. And I was in the villa. Yeah. I don't know, if you think about it that way, it's less scary. Um, I watched the trailer I and I was prepared to be terrified. But then when I played it, it, I didn't find it scary at all. So I'm an easily scared person. I expect that, that there would be jump scares and stuff. There but is. Yeah, the, but it wasn't that intense. Yeah, the monster. So, so you come across this monster. Um, I have anxiety. Three or four times throughout the game. <laughs> And that's the only kind of really well, scary bit. It's kind of creepy as you're going around the thing, and there's as as you play through the game, like as you get further into the game, there's more things get more surreal, uh, and mm. and you know uh, more uh, otherworldly stuff kind of happens, and the, the world around you sort of changes a bit. Um, and so that that's a bit creepy, but it's not really scary. It's I not like a couple of jump scare things. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a couple, but um, more, the scariest bit really is is when you get confronted by this monster who, and you all you can do is run away you're powerless to do anything if it catches up to you it will kill you instantly um, and, and that's you... that's the, again more realistic to real life uh, yeah <laughs> in that you probably couldn't fight back against this huge monster right okay yes yeah no, as opposed yeah. to a video game you just have a knife or something it's like <sighs> yeah mm. um, so good true. luck and then yeah it sends you back into yeah, and you wake the game up you wake up again until you can yeah if you die it just yeah. sort of pushes you back so each time the, each time you you come across this monster you're kind of in this sort of like other world mm. with like lots of like it, it's essentially like a maze um, and at the start of the game, it's, it's a pretty brief sort of maze to sort of get back to reality, I guess. Yep. Um, but each time you're, you, you come across the monster, the, it's a kind of a bigger maze to kind of get back to, to, to get away from it. Um, until the, the, the end, it's quite a long maze where you have to um, pick up some items along the way. And I found this uh, quite tedious and enraging, and I almost gave up. Um, because I was like, I don't know if I can keep playing this. I found it quite tedious because it's not, it, once you start uh, having to, because you get caught by the monster, right? You're going around in circles, around in circles, trying to find stuff, but it's a maze, so you don't know where you're going. It's all dark, all you've got is your phone light, and you're just trying to get away, and then he catches up with you and you die, and then you go again. And there's like, there's nothing telling you where to go. So it's just trial and error each time, and mm. I just kept dying, and so, it Isn't starts good, to become though? what? Isn't that preferable? What do you mean? To like being on rails? I don't want it to be on rails, but I want to be able to. I felt like it was just luck as to whether I was successful or not in getting away. Um, yeah, every time I played it, I was just going around in circles and stuff. I was like, it was, it was. It stopped being scary by like the fifth or sixth time I was mm. doing it, and just frustrating. Mm. Um, and so I uh, uh, looked up a walkthrough on YouTube to oh. show me where to go. Oh, oh, right. Cheater! Cheater! Oh, cheater! cheater. Cheater. But I was get genuinely going to be like, I don't. I, get under I'm the desk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Hang. Cheater, cheater, get under the desk, cheater. See you later. Oh, cheater. What? What? Cheater, you this? dog, you dog, bark like a dog, <laughs> bark like a dog. What's bark happening? Like Why? What? What? You're an art suck. Cheater. Art freak. Go away. <laughs> freak. Shut up. <laughs> I don't like this. Anyway. Oh, I should have thrown my shoe at you. Oh, Evan doesn't know that uh, while he left the <laughs> office, 
We got lost and couldn't find your yeah, office again. I volunteered to. Yeah. We you got lost there. in this building? It was literally like the game. We were, I was like, no, don't worry. I know where it is. <laughs> Opening doors and like, that's yeah. I was like, I yeah. left the office it and just crazy. lie down on the couch because I was feeling ill. And then I started laughing because I also couldn't find my way back. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't figure out where it was. And then Maddie's door. opening doors and I'm like, we've been here before. I'm like, no, it is. It's this not one. here. It was trial and error to get there. It really it was. was. stupid really? old. Yeah. It, it was, was like the game. Escape. Wow. Yeah. It was just like the game. Wow. And then someone stabbed me and it was crazy. No, that didn't happen. Jeez. I'm lying. And Sorry. then Irvie showed up and she was like a non-playable character. <laughs> 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 What are you looking for? <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah. I was like, I'm looking for the office. Okay. And then I freaked out. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. You can open any Sorry. door by just clicking on the handle. If you have any more questions, I'll be here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good fun. Uh, um, great. Well, I'm glad you found your way down to the studio. We got back and then we um, played the game. And yep. wow. And they, the, the main character's very sad about not having many followers, so that's um, nice. Yes, the main character is, yeah, yeah, she's jealous of Maya for having so many more followers than her. She's jealous of Maya for being more talented yeah. um, at, at, at doing the sort of murals that she does and the, the sketches in the sketchbook and such. Mm. Um, she has, the, the main character that you play as has quite low self-esteem, I'd say. Oh, Sounds yeah, like a it's hater. low. A hater. Yeah. I don't know if she's a hater. I think she just she's doesn't depressed. have much self-confidence. She's depressed. Yeah. Um, what do you think? What do you think a hater is? Oh, they're sad in themselves. Oh, I guess so. I guess it, they are. share that yeah, sadness right. through hate. Whoa, that's um, really cool. wow. But she's wow. not. Yeah. She's I'm not hating motivated. though. She's yeah. not. She, she's not aggressive towards Maya. I think she's just. I think didn't what? she write a letter to her that was really rude? Uh, I don't recall. I think so. I think we Maybe. found it was in the trash room. If you went to the trash room, I did go to the trash it was room. A very, very. Yeah, no, you're right. Very rude letter. Right. It's not on. So she is yeah. a hater. She is a hater. It well, because like a mix she, between no. adoration and maybe jealousy. Yeah. Well, because she she. She sounds kind of gay. She. That's what I <laughs> thought. I thought it was pre coded. I was like, honey, right. you wanted the kiss. <laughs> yeah. And now she did. I think she's yeah. angry at Maya for for kind of stealing Amelie away from her, her other friend, right? Well. So. This just gets gayer and gayer by the second. Yeah, God, this is right. very relatable to me, actually. <laughs> a similar situation. Yeah? Yeah. I was playing it, because I'm from a country town, so I used to hang out in, like, abandoned orphanages. <laughs> this is relatable. As you do. As yeah. you do. Walk around, had my first kiss there. It was great. Okay. Um, and often I'm With a ghost? It. Yeah. With an orphan child. <laughs> an orphan child ghost? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's Maddie okay. was a child too. I was also yeah. above child, four. It was above, yeah, it was fine. You did have some, you did have some power over them, though probably for the, the reason that you were alive. Yeah, whatever. They, Quite an advantage. They, yep. Yeah, no, it was with a human boy, okay? Yeah. Was I his think. name Casper? Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Um, <laughs> was, he was, did he like, have a white smooth head? <laughs> oh boy, did he? Yeah, he did. That <laughs> sounds and hot. then he ghosted me. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, what is, yeah. Anyway, unrelated. Um, no. <laughs> God, what am I doing with my life? Um, I don't know, but you're not even hanging out in abandoned orphanages yeah. anymore, so that's pretty Maybe good. That's level up. Honestly, yeah. this game was scary, but it was scary, I think, because I was like, whoa, I've been here, man. Okay, and It's right. about a town that sucks, and <laughs> yeah. no one likes your art, yeah, and it's your in, friend it's set in Germany. in love with you. <laughs> yeah, well, I would, didn't do that in Germany, but it f in a way, it felt... You know, well, you know. In a way, aren't we all... Fuck Germany. You know. <laughs> Can you defame a country? Fuck Germany. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fuck fine. Germany. I got a fine there once. Fuck it. Really? Yeah, what on for? the metro. Oh, because I got a child's ticket. Oh, I'm so sorry. You I look like a child. Yeah, not to them. Look at his shirt. I know. <laughs> Hello. They weren't convinced? <laughs> no, they said pay up. Wow. Uh, Did they say it in English or German? They said it in English. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Even worse. Well, um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of countries, there they speak multiple languages. Well, Fancy. Da -da. We're just um, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only speak the one, but that's all right. I grew up. Around uh -oh. the orphanages, it's hard. No, yeah. no <laughs> learning there, just sadness. And honestly, this was sad, and there were ghosts. And you keep going on your phone in the game. You do keep going on your phone. Well, ah. you're messaging Maya. You're trying to find it. You're trying to find Maya. It's kind of what you're doing yeah. ostensibly in the game. You're trying to trying to find your friend, um, mm. and she's being really cryptic and not very responsive on on the on the Typical. texting. 
Um, she's like, find it, find it. And you're like, what? What do you want me to find? She's like, find it, find it. Not being very helpful. Um, I thought that could be a bit more advanced. I was expecting that I could text them anything. Like, like you know, uh, AI yeah. would spit out an answer, but all you have to that do is That would be just cool. I think yeah. we'll see more of that in games. Yeah. Um, I know NVIDIA's working on some cool tech where NPCs will, will of course you use... Do. Um, <laughs> what? Of course you know that. Okay. No. <laughs> NVIDIA. Why don't you marry NVIDIA? I mean, uh, if I could. <laughs> <laughs> Love oh, no. oh, <laughs> baby. Love is love. Yeah, I support you, Evan. You do it. They're now. a hugely valuable company. Yeah, you're um, rich. Marry for the money. This is what I'm saying. They've yeah, they're they're going from strength to strength right now. Um, but do they have a monster cock? <laughs> Someone check on that. I'm sure they could generate one. Um, Oh. Anyway, NVIDIA has some great, uh, NVIDIA, are, the, the reason that they're, they're such an, an enormous company at the moment is because they make the, um, the, uh, the processes for, uh, that, that's, that's powering all this AI stuff. What? Um, they, they, they make AI acceleration um, hardware. And well, obviously thought... that's in great demand. So oh. they're uh, just booming right now. Uh, Got nothing to do with this. No, but what I was saying was that they've, they've also, they're, they're doing, um, uh, they've got new technology, which means that NPCs in video games um, can, can respond, uh, use, you know, using um, uh, machine, oh my God. large language models. I'm, I'm walked. I'm, I'm moving <laughs> right now. Like, I want the next generation. You can, you can basically go up to, go up to uh, an NPC and speak to it, and it will use voice recognition to understand what you're saying, no. and then it will speak back to you. Um, What's the game that you can oh, play? Oh, I like that game. What game? I want to play this game. What's it called? Who chat. knows? Come on, chat. People know what it's called. I've played it, and it's actually, I think it's great. Um, You're trying to figure out a murder in a town? Oh, no, we're thinking of different games. Oh. I'm thinking of the game that... Um, Wait, where Does Are anyone you? know? You're going into a couple's apartment, and you talk what? to them, and it's a really old game. It's not new at all. What? And you're... Your facade, yeah. yeah, and you go in and you you can say whatever you want to them, and um. Is it using AI or it's using scripted stuff and? I think it's. I don't know what it is, but you could say anything to them. Right. It might right. be. Is it AI? I. I feel like it's AI. It's AI. AI, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but it's a uh, huh. that you're like there's like tension in their relationship, and you talking to them, and you're trying to like get them to like, you know repair the rift but you can like piss them off or like get one of them to like hit on you and like it's it's, it's really cool and they're like acting really awkward as well it's i hate like, that i would freak out interesting yes okay. it's scripted oh, okay well get over it <laughs> <laughs> anyway but there's there's um it, it at least yeah there's there's a lot of games that give you a bit more uh freedom to to do stuff even if it is just like picking some options for dialogue trees yeah. but um this is quite an on rails experience mm. a very very linear narrative um you you know when you're texting your friends you're here. just hitting you're just hitting go 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 and can't it's do it's much. you can't Wait, do so much. we're just rating things based on how much ai they have now did i say that i didn't say that <laughs> well then why am i mad <laughs> 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 But I'm sorry, regardless. Uh, oh. I, um, <laughs> Do you think people like to be around me? Um, I like to be around you. Okay, well, that's good enough for me. Oh, great. Um, the, um, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. What, what, what? I'll jump in. My, my yes, favourite part please. was... <laughs> <laughs> I also host TV sometimes. So I got your back. I got, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He's a professional. Yeah, but the, my favourite part was when they played the videos of the artwork would go into a flashback of this Maya person and mm. it's like they we were watching a review on YouTube and the commentator said that the acting's really good in it and that was my favorite part but then I oh. realized I shouldn't be playing a video game I should just be watching a movie and that's yes. when I was like yeah I'm gonna leave now <laughs> yeah it was kind of unusual to have because because there are like there's cutscenes but then there's also like live action cutscenes which is kind of unusual for a game to be mixing them like that. I mean, there are, are games with live action cutscenes, obviously. But um, yeah, this, this sort of jumps between the two, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, that same review was criticizing it for the lip sync not matching up. I'm like, the, the cutscene was clearly shot in Japanese and they've dubbed it. And that's a weird Why did they criticism. Shoot it in Japanese if they're German. 
It's not a, no, it's a Japanese game set in Germany. Why did they set it in Germany? I don't know. Is there really a Because it features like cherry blossoms and a Japanese mm. witch and they're like, Germany. Yeah. Germany, though. Honestly, I think yeah. this could kind of be set anywhere. But yeah. I think the other thing is that what there's, there's, I think there's a lot we don't know. Like this is this, it's only a 90 second game. Sorry, a 90, 90 minute, second roughly, game. What were roughly you a 90 minute playing? game. Um, a two, you know, it's a 90 minute game. It took me two hours, but um, it's it's a short experience. But then you sucked at it. I sucked <laughs> at it. Oh man, yeah. I'm so bad. Oh, um, <laughs> you did really well, I bet. <laughs> okay, chill. <laughs> right socks, though. I yeah. just keep right. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. Um, no. <laughs> sorry. Um, it's a, it's only a 90 minute game, so so I think th this feels like they're um, a, a teaser for for a bigger thing. Um, You'd hope so. so. So well, that's a lot of work it, for nothing. If, it may yeah. become may become evident why it's set in Germany. It's part of a bigger story that. Um, I don't think they've said that, uh, that I know mm. of. Um, the next Silent Hill game that's being released is a remake of Silent Hill 2, I think. That's how um, it goes. It's just, but this is a self-contained, you know, story. It, 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 you know, it wraps everything up in a neat bow at the end. Uh, you know, with a mostly happy ending, you know, without spoiling anything. Um, <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. I mean, there's a lot of unhappy stuff in the interim. There is um, a bathtub full of blood. Yeah. Just saying. Yes. I didn't play that bit. Gee whiz. Okay. Um, yeah, I took the hit for you. But yeah, it's very, it's pretty graphic because you are first person perspective. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just um, um yeah. There's yes. There, yeah. He well, heavy themes. Um, not for the faint-hearted, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right words to say. <laughs> If you're feeling faint-hearted, don't, <laughs> don't um, trigger warning for trigger the pussies out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would be going harder on this, but I am aware of the content. It is. Okay, it is okay. not a laughing matter. Um, it's a great-looking game, though. Uh, they've they've oh. uh, developed this in Unreal Engine Five. Um, it's uh, we haven't seen a lot of Unreal Engine Five games come out. Uh, like on consoles and stuff, it's, it's, so it's good to see some some great new technology. It'll, you know, like what? The, what is it? You know, the lighting looks great. The, well, the, the textures and it's stuff. Really dark. It is great. it ray tracing? It's very dark. Uh, I'm not sure if they're doing ray tracing. I'm, I I think they must be doing some ray tracing, but I'm not sure. Um, ray tracing. Ray tracing. Yeah, yeah. Don't What's get happening? him started, please. <laughs> Sorry, don't worry about it. It's sort of where they're they're, they're okay. They're sort of it's how they um, animate light bouncing off things. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wasn't paying attention to that. There was a lot more going on. There was um. A well, you wouldn't, would you? Mm. No, I wouldn't know about. You that. wouldn't be like. This isn't enough frames per second. <laughs> yeah. Well, on that, yeah. the frame rate was pretty erratic. Oh, here uh, we go. Ah, all right. It's sort of at an unlocked oh 60 frames. Oh, my God. Um, but unlocked it, 60 frames. Unlocked 60 frames. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that. But, yeah. uh, but um, so that means it could be as low as one. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't it'd go that low. But yes, it go, it dips below 30. Oh, um, whoa. Which yeah, is, that's which wild. Is, that's a pretty big swing. Normally, if a game was like that, you'd lock it at 30 and then maybe it would dip below that sometimes, yeah. but generally it would be pretty consistent. But video games are just very high frame rate, right? Because compared to TV and stuff, you're like at 30. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Um, it depends on what the game is, but it, but the higher the frame rate, obviously the smoother it will be and the more responsive it will feel. So particularly for games like this, it doesn't matter so much. And a lot of games like this would run at just like 30 frames per second is like the default. <laughs> Um, but if you've got like first person shooter games where you're running around and you, you need it yeah. to be like super I don't quick. know, I'm vibing what Evan's putting yeah. down. They'll, like, they'll, we... You could run like Counter-Strike or, or Fortnite and stuff, you could be running at 200, over 200. Oh. 200? 300 frames per second, 400 <laughs> frames per second, if you've got a monitor that will support that. Yes. <laughs> I, I am gonna motion smooth you till you're <laughs> till you're just a, a smooth ball of flesh. <laughs> and yeah, I know what it is. Let's I know what it means. On this. Come on. I'm gonna put motion smoothing on every screen that you ever Don't. see. You're gonna be watching TV and you're not gonna be able to turn it off. Don't. What segment? She wants to do seven minutes in effort. Why? <laughs> no, because he's just going to talk about this. No, we didn't plan this. We didn't plan this, and I don't consent. The chat, the chat it's Naomi's chat birthday. Chat been I go but what? it can't be about that, seven. or I'll crack it. Seven. What happens in seven? <gasps> <gasps> All right, but you have to really talk about something interesting. <laughs> can it be frame rates? No. Well, what else am I going to talk it's about? My birthday. I don't know. You. It's all kind of fucked up stuff that Go you like to me. talk about. Do you have any other interests? 
I would. Do you have any other interests? No. You've been watching anything? Um, Naomi chooses the topic. That's a good idea. What's the, okay? Uh, but it needs to be something I can actually talk about, right? Right? <laughs> Don't make it Lolita, because I'm going to uh, really embarrass myself. No, 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 no. You know, no, I only no. talked about that in the break. And now. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> Not Lolita, because you know I want to be able to stop. <laughs> 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 um, okay, uh, critical race theory, go. What? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, pop music, go. Oh, Jesus. Seven minutes in ever. Okay, ready, set. Have fun. All go. Right. Uh, so, uh, you, uh, pop music, right? Yeah, pop music is a form, is a genre of music um, that I like listening to. I like pop music. Um, I like Pop the Song by InSync, which is about, I guess, about pop music. Um, just thinking through the lyrics, I think it's been generally about pop music. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's got beatboxing in it and stuff like that. I don't think it was pretty hip at the time, but I don't think it's, I don't think it holds up all that well. Um, uh, I think most of InSync's music was pop music. Um, General, uh, you know, and their peers also made pop music. Backstreet Boys, um, etc. Um, what else? Pop music. I, li I like some pop music. I like um, Carly Rae Jepsen has some good good pop music. I think she does good pop music. Gen I think pop music generally can be quite bad though. Um, uh, K-pop is good. I think some K-pop is good. Um, uh, I don't really listen to much pop. I, I listen to, you know, um, other... I listen to some pop, I guess. Do you reckon would, 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 would like... What's, what's, um, like Cardi B? What's that? You know? <laughs> Is she, she would be pop, right? Um, uh, what's... Did she do WAP? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Did she? Great, okay, good. I get her mixed up with Nicki Minaj and um, uh, uh, is that weird? Is that bad? Is that Megan the Stallion? Is it a different one? And um, uh, these are, you know, I think, you know, these are people that do pop, right? Is this pop music? <laughs> I, I don't really know what, what counts as pop music these days. I don't listen to the radio. Um, I'm not, I think that's, or is that, that might be hip hop, I'm not sure. Oh. I don't think it is. <laughs> um, some of it is. They've got verses where they'll have people to come in and do raps. Um. <laughs> uh, how, how, how... <laughs> oh jeez, that's it, okay. Um, but hey, you know, there's other kinds of music um, as well that's good, um, like uh, a, a dubstep <laughs> and <laughs> and rock, <laughs> and they can overlap. You can have pop rock. You can have um, you know some hip hop is poppy. Um, uh, um, I, I like some industrial music. Um, uh, I, was t I was talking a lot about uh, Weird Al Yankovic today. He he parodies pop music um, and <laughs> other things as well. Um, yep, pop. It's, 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 um, uh, is Billie Eilish pop? I guess so, sometimes, maybe? I think so. Um, uh, you know, even though, I mean, you know, pop, it's short for popular, right? So it's like, you know, but a lot of music is popular, even though it's not <laughs> pop music. It's kind of a weird way to, because, you know, you go for like, industrial and you're like yeah i kind of get that you know it's like it sounds like industrial sounds it's you know I, you sort of see that pop music there's a lot of popular music that isn't pop um <laughs> but that's but uh, so um i don't know when they when did they call it pop <laughs> i wonder you know at some point they've they've decided what what pop sounds like um even <laughs> you know I don't know when they named it, but it might have been, you know, so let's say it was in the middle of the century, the 50s. Was there pop music in the 50s? And what was it? The Beatles? When was the Beatles? The 60s? Are the Beatles pop? I don't know if they are. 
They might be... They probably are, right? Or are they rock? I think they're a rock band, in a way. Um, so, but they are very popular. One of the most popular in the world. <laughs> I don't know if they... <laughs> I don't know if they count as pop, though. Um, 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 who else is popular? <laughs> I don't like this segment. <laughs> um, I um, pop, pop, you know, uh, yep. Um, uh, pop music. So, um, yes? What, pop, what are you doing? What are you making? Oh, Taylor Swift is pop music. Hey, Taylor Swift is pop music. Is she here yet? No, we don't know. Um, uh, Taylor Swift. Uh, is definitely pop music and and very very popular again one of the most popular so that's <laughs> one where the name makes sense um, but some I mean you can have popular music that's that that it's very unpopular right like but it's but it's I guess it's a, you know, it's the you know the pop uh, <laughs> uh, the genre would have been formed at a time when that style of music was popular uh, and then it's just more about the style of the music than the popularity of the music. Um, you know, like uh, Linkin Park were very popular, but they're not pop. Um, uh, they're like, they're new metal, right? Is that... um, <laughs> um, but uh, but uh, Taylor Swift definitely, I think, fits both categories of, as in the genre of the music and the pop popularity a checkbox. Um, uh, ha, ha, all right, great. Um, uh, anyway, she's, oh man, crazy how popular Taylor Swift is. Everyone loves Taylor Swift, um, but I'm not going. I don't want to go, I'm happy not to go. Not that I don't like Taylor Swift, I just don't. Uh, I'm happy not to go, you know what I mean? A lot of money, uh, big crowds, um, MCG, what do you want to go? You know, we don't want to go see a stadium. Um, see, some artists are too popular, I think. If, um, it's, you know, it's better when they're at a lower level and you can go see them in like a theater or, you know, like a music venue rather than a stadium. Um, it's, you know, for a better experience. But, you know, they gotta, gotta you know, you, if you can sell out the MCG, 100,000 seats or whatever, then I guess you do that. Um, so you can make more money. Um, great, thank you for that. Well, thank great. God! Oh. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Was yeah. I thought that was really good. I think good. I was right. Mostly, mm. it's painful. I like how you were. Yeah. It's good. Talking about the distinction between pop music and music that's popular. Yeah. That uh, made me think. I was like, you are so right. Yeah. yeah. But what it was the genre you said? New metal. It's like it's obviously an industrial new metal, right, guys? I'm yeah. Like, right. <laughs> what are you talking about? And not being able to say anything. That was hell for I'm me. I'm sorry. Man. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't make the like, rules. That butter blood looking good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, I'm the up now, if you know what I mean. Um, I, I don't understand how time works where that was seven minutes and you can also do a comedy set for seven it minutes. It feels a lot shorter when you're doing the set. Yeah, but also when it's enjoyable as the viewer. Whoa! Wow! wow. <laughs> I also like how oh I God. said you can start a pop music and go anywhere. But you were really focused on pop music and saying, oh, yeah. the, saying the words pop music pop. a lot. <laughs> to sort of ground yourself. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah well, yeah, I feel like I should stick more or, more or less to the topic. I don't, I don't yeah. know. You did great. Yeah, yeah, also, good. I would say Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion do rap. Yeah, oh, okay. it's popular, but it is rap, I would it's say. It's also pop music, but you know, they're rappers. Yeah. Right, okay. And then anything that goes into the top 10 of Triple J's Hottest 100 is pretty popular nowadays. Yeah. They're all like That's considered not pop. Yeah, right, they don't yeah. play pop, do they? They're more like alternative. Or alternative pop, alt pop, is that a thing? Uh, G Flip pop. came in very high. It's yeah, G Flip is. They're kind of pop. I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to define. Hmm. Wow, it makes um, you think, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really makes you think. <laughs> um, it feels like you wanted to go to Taylor Swift, Evan. Uh, no, I'm actually quite happy not to go. Um, well, I'll I don't be going. think I, I don't think I would enjoy it. You know? Really? You'd have fun. I don't, I told, it's so many people. I don't think you'd even be able to hear her that everyone would be singing on next to you. Like it shows like that. Yeah. I, I think, I just don't think, unless you're like a mega fan, I don't, I, it's not for, you know? Yeah. What about the screens? Oh, I'd enjoy it from a technical point of view. <laughs> oh, 
obviously. Her, what's her frame rate yeah. like? <laughs> <laughs> it's very realistic. Yeah. I'll let you know, okay? Um, I'll let you know. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, yeah, where were we? The frame rate on this is, is all over the place. Um, Silent Hill. It's Silent Hill. <laughs> I felt like I was just there. <laughs> sorry, I'll leave. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've had too much liquid. Um, well, maybe we should wrap. Maybe we should wrap. I, I, I do, is it, it's, it's, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a, um, you know, a, a pretty brief uh, sort of thing. I, I enjoyed it. I didn't really like the, like I was saying, I didn't really like the, the maze stuff. Mm. But I found it pretty, you know, I, I enjoyed sort of going through and. Um, it was cool. It looked cool. Yeah, I think it looks cool. It's, yeah. um, yeah, it's just kind of a, you know, a nice way to sort of, um, you know, un untangle the narrative, sort of going through and getting bits and pieces of information and little cutscenes and stuff to kind of, you know, uh, unravel the mystery of what's going on. I I, uh, I enjoyed it. I think I, I think a lot of people have been picking on it. Um, I want to be able to jump when I'm playing the game. You yeah, can't you jump. Can't, you can't jump. Yeah. Did that what's break the immersion for you? Yeah, I couldn't jump. Yeah. I, just, I want to be able to walk, jump a bit. I don't know what that means, but I yeah. love it when I walk around. There wasn't any jump. like jump a lot more in video games than you do in real life. True. You wouldn't even really yeah. think to jump in real life. No, I haven't jumped since I was 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I would break something. Yeah, it's crazy. Everyone, go it's crazy jump. what life Have is like jump. these days. Yeah. Maybe if we all jumped, we'd be happier. Think about that. Have what's the, what's seen... the frame rate on life? Uh, so true. I don't know what the frame rate on life is. So true. Andy. I I don't know. I, I'm sure That's there's true. been studies done so to sort of work out. Rate? What? The eyes of the frame rate? Mm. Well, no, well, I, th I was going to say, I think there's... Because it scans like that, right? Or is that a camera? <laughs> no, there's a camera. <laughs> but does an eye do that? <laughs> an eye does I don't, look at things I, and it goes upside down yeah. like a camera does. So this is like a camera. Like a lens. And but it's just continuous. When you're drunk, the frame rate lower because okay. everything's blurry. Oh, okay, well, that's more of a shutter speed thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but if we get, oh, But um, oh, no, I don't, I don't know what the... I, I think there's uh, been some research into what uh, the, the human eye can perceive because like I was saying earlier, there's, there's video games that you can buy a computer monitor that's 240 hertz right 240 frames per second or even higher 300 400 frames per second uh 500 frames per second but um surely you know there's a limit on like what the you human can eye fps perceive. for most individuals is between 30 and 60 frames per second that's not I mean, many. that's not yeah. true yeah. well if that's true how can i watch anything that's more than that if i can't see that think about that well if that's what? true you if think if it's more that frames than that per second you won't see any of them <laughs> no. if i can only see 60 frames per second and there's 100 frames per second how would I see well, 100 if I could only see 60? You can't see them individually. They're probably blur. What right? does it all mean? You think... would just be seeing 60 of the 100 yeah. frames. And that's not 100. Yeah, you're not yeah. seeing all of yeah. them. So well, they're there, but they're you little. can't see them. That, that, I don't think that's right. It's because like UV light. You don't see it, but it's there. True. If, if that's the case, <laughs> if that were true, then you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between 60 frames per second or 90 frames well, per second. Well, I second. can't fucking tell the difference. I think you're crazy. You can tell the difference. I can't. You can. Everything's the same to me. No. Yeah, Hang on. My, I'm, I'm, my, go I'm Googling a different thing. Oh. My phone screen runs at 90 hertz, 90 frames per second. What does mine run at? Oh, what, phone, I don't, what phone you got? iPhone 14 Pro. Oh, no. <laughs> but if I, if I, yeah, if I change my right screen um, refresh rate to 60, <laughs> You can do that. Sorry, I just... You can, you can, yeah. It's a, it, why? What's Sorry, that? I have a monster cock on my phone. <laughs> Don't look Daddy. at it, but I Googled it before. Oh, it's related to the show? Yeah. Okay. No, no, it's just my monster cock that I have on my phone. <laughs> Whenever I'm feeling nervous, I look at it. Rain, oh. some, some, some Sorry, people say, was... some experts have said it's between 50 and 90. Yeah, okay. So what's, uh, I, well, an interesting way to look at this is VR headsets, right? Um, if you have, say, uh, an Should Oculus I Quest again? 2, <laughs> I have the Oculus Quest 2, which runs at between 90 hertz and 120 hertz. Um, 90 hertz is really kind of the lowest you'd want to go before. Yeah. If, if you have a VR headset that's running lower than that, say 60 or 75 or something, that's going to increase your um, tendency to, to get motion sickness and that sort of thing. It's, it's going to break the immersion and you feel like you've kind of got a lag to it oh. um, because it's not so smooth. Frame rates? Yeah. So if the frame, it, but a, a 90 hertz frame rate, that's that's where it feels more realistic. That's where realistic. it starts to feel okay. Yeah, and at 90 hertz. No, well, you, it's still fine at like 60, but but you'll you're more likely to get motion sickness the lower the frame rate. Um, and 90 hertz is a good like for gaming and that sort of thing. It's a good place to be. Wow. Okay. I didn't expect yeah. this was like a GP consult. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why did I get sick early? <laughs> yeah, I, I think you got motion sickness from this game, partly because it's a first-person game and, and, and first-person games will make people feel motion sickness sometimes if you're not used to them. Mm. It was a, a relatively big screen that you were sitting in front of in a dark room. Big. That will, big, that'll contribute. Yeah. Um, Big screen. And, and also because this has a variable frame rate, it's not locked at like 60 or something. Ah. It's gonna, it, it varies a bit, which is not great. Like that's one of the, the, the technical criticisms of this. Um, and that will also contribute to it. Wow, fighter pilots have, can see 220. Wow. Why have, can they do Have that? seen, because they're always like, yeah. Um, I feel like that like all that. the time. After all these, I'm seeing <laughs> 300 frames per second. I'm seeing things you can't even think about. Okay. Um, maybe we should wrap up. You um, could start a helicopter in right. here and you'd just be able to see the blade going around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look great in this frame per second. You're looking good, everyone. Okay, okay. we go home. <laughs> good. Yep. Um, Silent Hill, the short message is out now on PS5 and it's free. So if you want to go check it out, you go check it out. What yeah, you all you have to do is have enough money for a PS5. Sorry, yes, that is, yeah. it, you have, it is only on PS5, um, which is, it's, it's maybe a bit of a shame. Um, but hey, the PS5, that's, it's been out for years now. The PS5, they said, is entering into the latest age of its life cycle. Uh, and, and is it really? Yeah. Really? yeah. Can I have yours, sir? No. Well, because I still I use mine. Well, I don't have one. Okay, but I'm saying I don't have one either. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Been out for a few years. <laughs> okay, I'm still poor. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Sorry, I didn't get on the property property ladder, and, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, the man doesn't want to give up his PS5. Yeah, typical. Oh, I need mean, to play International Women's Day is coming up. Give is us it? your PlayStation. Yeah. Oh, oh, is it? Give it to you as an International Women's Day present. Oh my God. Okay. Um, hey, before we wrap up, we have to thank our top patrons. We do? Yes. We do okay. this every week. You love it. I love it. I was thinking do go on patrons today. I was on the do go on today and uh, oh. I, I, was thinking I don't it. care about your private life. <laughs> Stick to the script. Um, That's okay. no one's business. <laughs> Thanks to... You slut. Amy G. <laughs> <laughs> Blake Hannigan, Brendan Wozni, Brianna Gordon. She's new. Well, don't say it like that. She'll leave. <laughs> Freak out, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, camera forward. Chris Potts. Christian Sanchez. I was trying to do German accent, but I don't actually know how you would even say that in a German <laughs> don't accent. Don't uh, No, I don't know. How would no. you say it? Uh, you got to think of a person who has a German accent and then imitate them, right? Okay. Um, oh, you need to don't think about you have to identify the Christian part Sanchez. of the mouth the accent comes from. Is that from. better? Like each, each accent has a mouth ah, part yeah, that it originates yeah. from. So if yep. it's German and it's like, you know, back of the throat, you got to Christian like... Sanchez. <laughs> who do, you, who's, who, do we know? I was thinking of the lead character from Anatomy of a Fool. <laughs> Another movie. Here we go. Is you are lazy. <laughs> <laughs> what about, um, what about... You get mad at me because you do not try. Yeah, okay, you know, that sounds German to something me. like that. Yeah. Very you got to watch that movie to see how good the dog is at acting. The dog? The dog is amazing. And now the dog's going around doing all the press. Is <laughs> really? That, what? Yeah, was that like an Oscar, Oscars nominees luncheon? And I'm like, good. The dog. The dog should be there because that's a good fucking dog. Has anyone seen the movie? Do you guys know I'm what not, I'm talking no, about with the I've dog? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking right. to you guys. You guys in the chat, you know that dog. Messing that dog, dog huh? is uh, the best actor I've ever seen of any species ever. Okay, right. nope. All right, well, All right. Yeah, oh Meatball well. Captain knows something. You guys got to see this movie just for the dog. All right. Um, David Bourne, David Holland, Death Sorry. Wombat, Decay, Dummy Thick Dave, Fahad Altani, Hannah Green, Jack Sanguinetti, Jim Bates, Jimmy Jojo Jr., Shabadoo, MJ, Oscar A, Recon7474, Rupert the Dog, Sontry Raikkonen, Scott Full to the Brim, McEachin, uh, which I think is a reference that's to That's something the, I said last week? I think it's, I think that's a reference oh, to no, the toilet. Oh no, that's what Greg said. Different uh, thing. Different thing. <laughs> oh no. Um, Sean Pragt, Siraj and etc. Neil, if you want to hear your name read on the show, you can sign up to the Close Personal Friend Patreon tier uh, and you get all the benefits to signing up to the Patreon, which are, you know, you probably know what they are by now. Um, <laughs> but you get episodes a little bit early, you get to join us in Discord, you get a mug on one of the tiers, it's pretty exciting. I uh, love mugs. The top one. Um, the top one, the yeah. Top tier. The spoiler alert. Top tier. The top tier. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Do people still say that? No. Um, not in situations where you're not spoiling anything. Was I spoiling something? No. 
Okay. Werner Herzog. That's who I was thinking of. He's German? He's German? I'm going to say yes. He seems German. He seems German. He could German be like Austrian me. or something. Oh, do we know? Is he German? Werner? Werner? Are you there? Werner? Werner. Werner, mm -hmm. come on. Christian Sanchez. <laughs> it doesn't, that's not, those words don't, they, you can't do them in German. You can, yeah, because they're not word real. Christian, San, Christian Chris, Sanchez. I reckon Ben Russell could do it. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Get him in. He's gone. Uh, sign up at patreon.com slash game game. Um, Annie Louie, where can people find you? Oh, I'm on Instagram at Annie Louie, A-N-N-I-E-L-O-U-E-Y. Um, also you, doing a show at doing Comedy a show Festival. Festival. Yes, doing a split bill show with my boyfriend. It's called Too Haram to Handle and mm -hmm. his addiction. <laughs> we're doing long distance. He's living in Hong Kong. We met over there. So wow. There's a hook for you. Is he coming to Melbourne for the show? Yeah, unless he was doing it virtually, which so yeah, it would be hard. Well, I yeah, know, it'd yeah. be like Could, thematic if he was over Yeah, it's a long distance. Yeah, that'd, yeah. Be, that'd be cool. Yeah, well, we haven't written it all yet, so maybe I'll get him to film some videos. Who knows? Oh. Um, Maddie, where can people find you? Hi, everyone. Um, <laughs> please find me here. Sorry, please find the camera, Maddie. Hello, everyone. This is me. Hi, my name is Maddie Weeks. Please oh follow me on God. Instagram, <laughs> at Maddie Weeks. Um, you can follow me on Reddit. Please don't. Um, sorry, I don't know why I said that. What are you on Reddit? Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, Reddit's and, always the best one as yeah. well. Yeah. People forget that you can see their entire account. Yeah. Everything God, I wish I hadn't post, said that. All the... Did you post your vomit video on there? No, I should have. Maybe I would have yeah. really. Yeah, you would have so on. much karma. Karma, oh. karma. I do have karma. I thought you were just saying cum. Oh. <laughs> so much cum. Finally. I mean, cum buckets are cum everywhere. Anyway, so I'm doing a show at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival and it's called Never Gonna Die. Ooh. Yeah, so you should really come to that. It'll be a bit of fun. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I do with my life. Um, yeah, you found a lobster the other day. I yeah, I rescued a lobster from the Melbourne CBD. We found it alive lobster in the Melbourne CBD. It was alive, it was out front of the 7-Eleven and I found it there and people were trying to feed it a sausage roll and it was alive. And people were trying to feed it a sausage yeah, roll? Yeah, a sausage roll because it, it looked hungry, I don't know. But they How does it look that. hungry? Well, it was just like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're always like. It's a lobster. Yeah, it was alive, and I okay. just was so like worried about this lobster that was alive. And then someone picked it up and tried to put it in the Australia Post box, and I was like, what? "This is what?" Not That's me. Yeah, it was rude. Oh. All these drunk people. And then someone got it. Did a they address it? <laughs> no, they should have. If they'd written on it, it would have been fine. Um, no, I had to say. <laughs> I thought you meant did they give talk? <laughs> did they say its name? Sir <laughs> lobster. Sir lobster. Sir lobster You're not even going to introduce yourself, and you're going <laughs> to. Shove him in a mailbox? Yes. Hello. Um, no, so I rescued it and I met some random guy. He picked it up. We walked it down to the Yarra and we put it in the Yarra and I filmed it for content. Is it, do they go in the Yarra? Yeah, well, they die this immediately. Is the problem that I found myself facing because I was Googling it because it looked stressed and I Googled it and it said that lobsters can feel anxiety. So I was like, fuck, I've got to save this oh. lobster. And we named it Pinchy and then we like walked it down to the Yarra oh, yeah. and people were like, why do you have a lobster? And I was like, mind your own business. And we got to, <laughs> <laughs> we got to the Yarra and we put it in, it like sunk immediately. And then I just started freaking out. I was, was drunk deep? as well. Oh. No, it's not very deep. It's like two meters deep. Mm, okay. So I was like, oh my God, I've just introduced a lobster there. What if I like ruin the ecosystem and I get fined and people mm. come after me? But I put it on social media anyway, yeah. whatever, get it detention. <laughs> and yeah, people just kept commenting, wow, you just, he's dead. That <laughs> pinchy is dead. <laughs> and all like, I was so ho help, like hopeful that I'd save the lobster. Yeah, and all the comments really are just like, pinchy to... died in the Yarra. I'm just, I keep getting DMs of people being like, you just killed him. He is dead. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I thought I was saving this poor So they, they are freshwater then? Well, the Yarra is an estuary, which is like when freshwater and saltwater mix. Uh-huh. I don't know any more about that, but okay. it could be alive. I don't know. And I don't know Can they breathe underwater? From. Lobsters? Yeah. You don't have any clue where it came from? No. It was you don't know like, if it's, it's um, like... It was probably well, going to be dinner. Like, I'm kind of jealous now that it's dead and I couldn't have that lobster. Yeah, everyone, yeah, everyone said, why didn't you 
didn't eat it. Oh, sorry. I didn't just take it home, this live lobster, and chop its head off and suck its guts out. I'm so sorry. I, it was alive, and it had a little thing that kept coming out of its mouth, like a tongue or something. Uh. It was scared. So I put it in the yard. So, so you put it in a big thing of yeah. muck. Well, I knew it was going to die, and I thought, isn't it better to die in the Yarra than die out the front of 7-Eleven? <laughs> Where would you prefer? Uh, you prefer? I think I'd prefer a 7 Eleven, yes. honestly. <laughs> well, but I'm not I'm a lobster. Sorry, I should have just but left I'm not it a lobster. There. I'm not a lobster. I don't know. I, and that's Pinchy, Pinchy, in my mind, is alive in the Yarra, very, very happy. And I looked it up, and he's like a rock lobster. So that's mm. cool. Oh, right. Yeah, rock oh, lobster like, like a song. song. Exactly. In my mind, he's fine, and I need people to stop DMing me. Okay. You have killed a lobster. But, but, I'm the only but do follow person. Maddie and, and check out their, uh, their show, comedy Who Christmas knows what show. they could do next, to, you know, and we could all yell at them. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> anyway, I wish Pinchy was still here. In, anyway, I shouldn't have I, Look, I, well, we don't know. <laughs> I hope that Pinchy's That's fine. so funny, because you're clearly referencing Homer Simpson, but you, you, killed, you killed the lobster well before Homer Simpson did. Whoa. Homer, yeah, Homer takes it home and then they run in a hot bath. Why didn't I do that? Oh, well. Well, I'm yeah. sorry, everyone. I fouled you all, so should have just left it there. So anyway, come to my show, I guess. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> sorry. We're never going to die except that lobster. Did. The pinchy died in the arrow. Um, I'm making merch for that as well, so bye. <laughs> Naomi, have you got anything going on? Where does the rock lobster come from? That's my question. Probably a it's restaurant. It's got to have come from a restaurant or... Yeah, or it escaped. A supplier. It probably wasn't. Um, wasn't destined to live a Yeah, it probably life, wasn't anyway. long for this world regardless. I am on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah? Yeah, I haven't been posting, though. No. You've been posting some stuff. You've been following the, 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 the uh, Gaza situation. That's all I've been posting because I feel too depressed to post yeah. anything other than that. Um, mm. So if you want to, I um, we don't have to talk about that. No, it's probably best yeah. to be done. But if you want to stay up to date, <laughs> uh. yeah, been retweeting some horrific stuff, so you can get into that. Um, uh -huh. But I'll 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 post normal stuff again at some point. Um, yeah, mm. you got some stuff in the works. Yeah. Yeah, great. That's good. I do. You know this. Frickin' industry. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, okay, I'll, oh. I'll be an old lady by the time. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Who cares? Fuck you. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, if you enjoy the show, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, and you can you know follow us on social media and bits and pieces. We have a TikTok. You can follow us there sometimes. We do. Post. Really? Well, yeah. I think yeah. I think so. I don't, really, I don't really use TikTok, but Come I, to rallies, you'll bump into Naomi. Do not approach me at a rally. I will bite you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. And I'll release another lobster. <laughs> no, Naomi, it was you. <laughs> oh, my God. And if anyone from the environmental Victoria, whatever, it was all a joke. It's fake, so don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. It, I don't send me to jail. I really don't think you're going to get in trouble for that. Yeah. You were well-meaning you were... Because you know, there is one. no yeah. way that that lobster lived. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pinchy. Um, and maybe you can podcast the show. Uh, we're on the the podcast, the Pickaxe Podcast Network, um, with some great other podcasts you can go check out as well. So uh, what are you talking about? Well, you can podcast this show. Oh, that's right. You can. Um, you listen to us talk wherever you get your how podcast. Long is, how long does the podcast go for? It's just this. It's just literally the audio. Of Unedited. My voice. But, yeah. Don't want that. Wow. Yep. <laughs> um, yep. So look, look us up on there. Um, and that's it. Hey, we're going to be back uh, next week with a whole nother show. Yep. Um, I'll be here. Uh, yeah, you'll be. Yeah, yeah, you'll be here. Um, I don't. Unless I won't be. <laughs> no, I think you will be. Are I... you planning on having me off? <laughs> we're going to release you into the Yarra. <laughs> yeah, you're going to join Pinchy, all right? No, oh, I don't want to. Anyway, so I don't know what we'll cover next week, but I'm sure it'll be great. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.